Hello, and welcome to week six of the WIA football season. I'm Tom Shafransky, WIA Assistant Director and Football Liaison. Happy to be able to bring you another version of Extra Points. This week, I'd like to talk with you about a defensive pass interference situation that has uh, become somewhat of an issue, and it deals with starting at the line of scrimmage with the press that is often used there and leads into what is being called chucking defensive players contacting offensive receiver, receivers either at the line of scrimmage or downfield and maintaining contact with them or having contact of some sort as they go downfield. First, we'll go to NFHS rule 923 C and D. Here it reads that a defensive player shall not use his hands or arms to hook, lock, clamp, grasp, encircle, or hold in an effort to restrain an opponent other than the runner. And then in D, it further identifies that a defensive player shall not contact an eligible receiver who is no longer a potential blocker. So when a receiver is no longer a potential blocker, contacting the receiver is illegal use of the hands by the defense. Once a receiver is on the same yard line as the defender, or after he has made his cut away from the defender, he is no longer a potential blocker. If contact occurs after a forward pass, which crosses the neutral zone in its flight, it is a defensive pass interference call, unless the pass is not in the vicinity of the contact. I hope this is helpful information for you, and we will include this as part of our growing list of topics that we have, and want to wish you all a very successful week six as we begin to head to the WIA football tournaments in just a few weeks. Best of luck in week six.